Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. While you are venturing deeper into the labyrinth, you may find tomes of great knowledge hidden there. Read them carefully, for they can tell you things that even I cannot. While you are venturing... What ails you, my friend? While I use some limited forms of magic to create the potions and elixirs I store here, Adria is a true sorceress. She never seems to sleep, and she always has access to many mystic tomes and artifacts. I believe her hut may be much more than the hovel it appears to be, but I can never seem to get inside the place. Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Good day. How may I serve you? Farnham is a drunkard who fills his belly with ale and everyone else's ears with nonsense. I know that both Pepin and Ogden feel sympathy for him, but I get so frustrated watching him slip farther and farther into a befuddled stupor every night. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. The sanctity of this place has been fouled.
I don't have a spell ready.
Too much baggage. Uh. <laughs> 